Hello, greetings, and welcome back to Station Airs with me, 54 Bear. We are on day 10 of our brutal survival on Europa, and I am going to print the Tall Manufactory if I have enough copper. That is the question. Still don't have enough. Yes, I do. And the reason for wanting this is I'm about to go out on a mining run and I want to get the uh, mining backpacks. And I use the term plural, or well, use the plural version because yes, I'm a greedy SOB and I want two of them. I could actually go with more, but um, to be honest, two is fine. Now the tool manufactory will go here. So I'm just pre-wiring in my preferred design. Um, I like doing it this way around so the wires don't interfere with the, um, the buttons. And they also, well, I mean, they wouldn't interfere with the chute outlets, but I think it just looks nicer. And I will do the same here but I'm not going to reconnect or disconnect anything while the tool manufacturer is printing. I should just get it pre-wired. And then I'll be able to de delete that. Because there are times when you're over here where um, this wire does have an extended collision and it can get in the way. At least I find it quite annoying. So we'll get that done. We'll print up a couple of backpacks. I will not bore you with the mining thing. I will either fast forward it or just critical. or just cut it out uh, entirely. I should have a little nosh. And uh, I'm just dumping things around the corner here at the moment. It's... Uh, Oh, it's still got a bit left in that. Good. Um, yeah, so mining backpack. Uh, we'll get that done. And I also want to do the beacon. Um, I'm not going to do the full size one, though. Ah, right, before I can place that, I need a frame. And my backpack was open in the wrong place. Now, I don't know which side it, it would actually need that. So let's find out. There. All right. And the advantage, of, I may have mentioned this before, but the advantage of pre-wiring is when it goes yellow, you know you're in the right place. All right. It's kind of annoying that every time you... Uh, Close the game and open it. You have to reset where everything is. Okay, so I will need a couple of... Actually, let's do this wiring now. So it's done. And... Oh, that was right. There we go. Bingo. Uh, I'm going to need more wire. No, I won't. Uh. Right, so I will need a couple of plastic sheets. And I have some silicon. Just need two sheets. And the welder. Now, when you weld in here, it is going to add pollutants. So you keep the welder off as much as possible. But to be honest, the amount of pollutants in here isn't going to be a major issue. says the guy with the lung damage. Okay, there we have our tool printer. Now, 
mining backpacks only need a little bit of iron well comparatively little uh, not the hard one because I don't have invar and because I'm a greedy SOB as I mentioned before I am going to make two of them I could do more obviously I have the um, the iron capacity but you then run into the problem of not being able to uh, run your tools for long enough right now the tracking beacon that requires gold and copper how much copper two and I have some gold over here this is just going to make getting back to base a little bit easier it's certainly a lot more convenient um, I'll carry the GPS cartridge around with me as well because there may be occasions when I will need to mark the location of something if I don't have time to mine it or uh, other such things and the most important thing is a can of paint now I do have a couple of paint mods one is unlimited so one can of paint lasts forever and the other one is the color switcher so using the mouse scroll wheel I can change the color so we'll make one of these bright yellow because reasons okay now actually I will also do the same with my tools the spanner is yellow because that's the color of pipes uh, the screwdriver or drill is green because I once owned a, a Ryobi drill actually my drills right now are rigid and they are bright orange but uh, yeah the default is bright orange and it gets confusing so the crowbar is white even though my real crowbar is actually uh, black makes it very difficult to see and my real wire cutters are red handled lastly so the t I don't own a welder so yeah um yeah pretty much uh, you know what I have in my workshop at home I just find it easier right we'll paint all this white because this is basically oxygen stuff I can't paint the canister while it's in there so whoop oh, well. there we go and this stuff we will paint I don't know olive I guess magic alrighty so that is uh, the important stuff done now battery wise we are okay I can I mean I'm getting a little bit of charge from these I should make some more but I don't really want to expend the steel on it just yet I will need the tracking cartridge which is there so inside my where is it well, I opened under here right so is the Atmo analyzer I won't need that while I'm out I do want the tracker though keep that up there uh, let's check the status on the other tools Oop. that was wrong oh that's good enough I don't have to worry about that and that so they're okay and the mining drill all right well that needs a new battery for sure in fact we will give it a big one as with myself and we will carry a spare okay stuff to dump I'll just dump it here for the moment uh, GPS I'm gonna keep on me Iron sheets I don't need. Whoa! 
physics glitch. Probably dangerous to do this this close to the uh, inlet for the furnace. But there's nothing in there, so we are golden. Right, so I need my other mining backpack. Put both of those there, GPS there. And there was a question. Can flares be coloured? Yes, they can. I don't know what colour works best. Um, I also don't know what happens when you paint them black. I think they just default to white. White, I find a little bit harsh. So I'm going to try orange just for giggles. And we will try it out. Okay, I will do the munchies. Okay, uh, well, first I don't think I'd get much more, but uh, don't have any loose ones. So, yeah, just four water bottles there. Uh, put that down, take one out, and leave the active ones down here. Right, um, should be okay for gas, but what I will do is... Evacuate this and also empty the waste into the base. I will carry this as a spare. And I will carry that as a spare. And that. Why not? This I don't think I'm going to need. Now that I have the big battery, I should be okay. And with that, dear friends, I shall embark on a nighttime mining thing but we will test out the bright orange flare uh, let's see i can close this off split one light put it in your undies oh makes everything green but yes i will go do the mining thing and I will not subject you to it. I'm basically looking for more of this stuff. Uh, I know this is here, so I'll come back to that at some some point. But now with... I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I have... I made the tracking beacon and I didn't use it. That is a problem. This is part of the perils of when you narrate stuff. I should just dump that down on the ground. Yeah, maybe yellow would be better. I need my light so I can see what I'm doing in here. Oh, I'm such a Doris. I thought I had one too many batteries. Okay, so yes. We will put the little battery in here. We will test the beacon to make certain it works. Yes, it does. And in fact, that can be carried in there. And now we can go mining. Yeah, as I was saying, I need to get um, turn my light off. I need to get a uh, a load of nickel. I know there's some near the base, so I'll pick that up on the way back. Uh, but I really need lead. That is the thing that is going to be driving things. So hopefully, I will find some. And I will see you on the flip side. Okay, and here we are back after an extended mining trip. Forced back by thirst, despite being fully hydrated before heading out. Nice. 
Okay, now I did pick up a bunch of water ice, which is good. Uh, actually, I should drop before I do anything. Let's drop off my big batteries, get those charged because we will have to go out again. I didn't find anything, or I didn't find any silver. So that is the hole from the mining trip plus these little bits so yeah can make some steel can make some gold copper um cannot do any of the advanced alloys yet because i need more nickel i mean i've only got well 57 i think yeah plus do i have any no i don't so, yeah, a little disappointing, but difficult to find all this stuff out here. All right, let's uh, take care of the drink situation first. Stop that god awful chirping and get the health starting to come back up, maybe. All uh, right, I'm going to need uh, another cereal bar. I did pick up a bunch of oxide, so uh, I know it will cool the base down a bit, but it's not a huge issue. Uh, but I do want to refill the tank. Uh, not a desperate need for it, but it may as well get done. So I'll just drop that one for starters. And uh, I'll drop that one as well. So everything's going to roll around the base for a bit. Okay. Now this is when I should have started mining. Alright. Now I can begin to get this going. Now this I did set. Yes I did. Now this has a lot of extra capacity um, because of this tank here. Uh, so it will take a while to, to pump that up. If it looks like it's going to be too long, I can just delete this. In fact, I think I'm going to do that because I don't need a huge capacity right now. All right, so that's already put it at uh, 3 megapascals. Yeah, so this won't let it overpressure and... Well, to be honest, I could put this on here to increase that, which is probably a sensible option. Let's close these mining things. They are getting in the way. Uh, is that regular pipe? Yeah. So... This will just stop me potentially overpressuring this section of pipe and getting it all bent out of shape. So let's put the uh, spanner. Like so. So that vastly increases the capacity here. So this is really going to have to work to get uh, this overpressured. Um, and this side is obviously controlled by this. Now, I don't have any more pipe, do I? New. No. Because uh, what I'm thinking of is taking this out and putting it over on this side. But uh, I'll leave it as is for now. Right, so that's already at pressure, so I can turn that off and turn that off. That leaves the base at 60, which is good. 15 degrees, that's okay too. Right. Now, I was planning on doing a load of smelting, but the reality is the only thing I can make, apart from the, the base ingots, is a, a load or two of... Um, steel and maybe some solder. Uh, I really need electrum in the mix as well. 
So I will fill up this mining backpack. There's no point in taking it out. Uh, and I will do a, which one was that? Okay, so the orange one. So that's full of ores. This has still got a lot of capacity in it. And I will head out again and do a little more. So, another jump cut for you to look forward to. And we made it back. Day 15. Yeah, one of the uh, disadvantages, I guess, at least of people who do recording and or streaming, is when you have a couple of mining backpacks and uh, only the you don't have the heavy drill, it takes a hell of a long time to fill them up. So, yeah, I... Oops, need to unlock helmet. Um, used up all my thirst. Health started declining again. So, yeah. Not the most... Let's use these ones up first. Um, not the most riveting content. So, yeah. Fast forward. Well, I didn't fast forward. I didn't even record it. So, uh Oh, still got stuff left in there. Good. Um, right. Now, I did pick up some silver. Oh, let's see. Can I drag that down? Oh, that's really annoying that it spawns off the screen like that. Uh Okay, so that's that one. Put this one in here and open it up. All right, that's better. It must be in relation to where the uh, icon is when you open it. I guess that's why it opened up up there. Right, so a little bit of organization required here. Uh, let's get the iron sorted first, just so I can see what I have. And put them closer together. Let's drag all these ones over first. That makes more sense. Right, so that's all that. Plus I have that one in there. Okay, then the copper. And at some point I'm going to need to invest in cupboards, shelves, or something similar. Right, so that's my copper. Let's put the nickel up here. So, Power critical. I was able to find quite a bit of nickel in the end. I uh, hit upon a couple of veins that were really quite large. And one down here. Right. Uh, what else do I have to sort out? Um, right, the water can go down there where it's out of the way. Gold did not find that much. Likewise, silver. Right, I do have some silver in here. So combine that with that, that gives me another full stack uh, right, so silver silver and silver lead, lead and another lead and then coal Oh, actually, I've got a couple more leads up here. And silvers. Okay, so. Oi. All this musical stuff. And a little bit of silicon. 
actually we can get keep the uh, ices in there all right so again not the most awe inspiring uh, haul but enough to do the smelting that I need I basically need to make solder I need to make uh, electrum Invar and Constantin and those I will probably do in the next episode because I am thinking about pulling this down and relocating it outside because I don't have a fuel system sorted and that means I'm having to process ices in here now I can either evacuate the whole area or create a small area that I can evacuate while I'm doing it or I keep having to run in here close the door evacuate this preset the ices that I want in in my uh, mining belt and then run back out and do the um, do the actual smelting uh, none of which is particularly conducive so what I was thinking of doing is making a small smelting hut outside. Um, I need to make the alloys before I can make the tier 2 printers and I need those before I can make the advanced furnace and all the other toys. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do next time. I don't know how advanced I'm going to make it. It may just be something like this in a little hut that I can you know I wouldn't actually evacuate it or anything it's just in case a storm blows up I it wouldn't blow all my ingots away when I when I do the smelting thing um, maybe even with a shoot network to automatically drop the the ingots in here um, yeah not really certain about that I shall have a little think about it during the downtime if you have any thoughts please feel free to leave me in the comments it's always a delight to read them it's nice to know that people watch this stuff uh, hopefully it's interesting and informative especially to those who are new to stationers or just stationer curious but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one 54 bear out